Hi guys, I'm pleased to introduce you a kind of MRI simulator, which can make your laptop become MRI console. So you would be able to operate just like a MRI scanner anytime and anywhere, only if you have internet. If you want to use this software, Google Chrome browser is recommended. So at first you must open the Google Chrome input the website medivlab.com you load the home page at the home page you can see some in and the register button if you have no account in this software you can click register button here some information should be input at the first time input your name input your email address and then click send the verification code was sent to your email address you should check your email box maybe the verification code is in your junk mail then input your password and repeat your password the last step is input the verification code from your right canvas Input the letter or numbers here. Then click register button so you can successfully register a new account for yourself. You should remember the user ID for yourself to sign in. After you register, you can click enter MI simulator button. Input your user ID or your email address and then input your password and the Verification code from your right canvas, input the letter or number, then log in. After you practiced in the simulator system, you can enter practice assessment to test yourself. After the test, the assessment system will give you assessment report automatically and point out what's problem with your test. In the home page, we introduce the features of the software and point out the CLMRI is designed for the students in the major of medical imaging and the radiographers and the radi technology. There are more than 25 examinations can be operated in CLMRI, include head, spine, abdomen, and contrast enhancement. We also provide the demo video here to show how to use CLMRI. Okay, let's start the software. You can click sign in or click MI simulator directly. Then input your user ID or your email address and your password. Then the verification code. This verification code is from the right canvas. Input the number or letter. Okay, now log in. Full screen. From the beginning, you if your screen is not full screen, you can use the control key on your keyboard. At the same time, you can roll your mouse wheel up or down to adjust your display resolution until to the full screen. Now we can see the interface of the simulator. Here is the menu, the patient menu, the help menu. We provide a lot of study video here and the teach menu and the operator score to show how many steps and the criterion here. There are three image frames here to show the scanned image. And this is the sequence area. This is the parameters area. Sometimes we need contrast enhancement. We can click the syringe here. So the inject, inject panel showed in this image. You can, in, you can change the flow rates or the volume. Generally, the syringe A 
contains GDDTPA, and the second syringe contains saline. After you set the right parameters here, you can click the handle button to start injection. Okay, I want to show you the brain scan demo. But first, we we need to register a new patient here. Input your name. Now we should input the last name test and the first name test. Also input your patient ID, the date of birth, and the height, and the weight. Of course, also we must choose the sex, male, female. Oh. We select the patient position. For brain scan, of course, we should put the patient head first supine. Then select the examination study. We select the brain. Also, you can select from here the body part, head, the study, head, examination. Click request view. We can see the application form to show what's the problem with the patient. Diz dizziness and headache for one week. So the focus body part examination is head. Make sure. Select all sequences. Now we enter the main interface of the this simulator. Click the first sequence, the localizer. Then click tick button to make sure the sequence is ready and click the scan button to start the localizer. It's so noisy, we can turn off the sound. The localized sequence is finished. We can move. Click the second sequence, that's a T2, transfers plane. Okay. We can move the slice group. All the parameters showed in this area. They, we can change it, everything, such as the slice thickness. Now it's 5 millimeter. We can change 6 millimeter, that means the scan range is enlarged. We also can move the boundary of the slice group. Also, we can change the scan plan. The thickness and the slices, we can change the slices. The distance factor is not correct. Usually, we can input the 10% or 20%. Click the, the blank area. Okay, we can move it. All the parameters can be changed by click the up button or down button. Also, you input number here directly. Also, you can by pulling the boundary of the scan plan, you can change the parameters. Just like now, the scan time is 1 minute 24 seconds. We can change T TR, time of repeat. So the scan time is changed. We provide an, if your scan plan is not correct, then you click the tick button. The system will give you a tips to show how how to operate the software correctly and 
show the parameters, the range. The right parameter should adjust to the right range, and you you have to change the parameters, or you you can keep unchanged. By moving the select groups, you can see the right ar arrow. You know, you can see the right arrow. That's that's the that is the AI assistant to give you the tips. That means you should move the scan uh, slash group up until the white error disappeared. If too much, the white error that the down down white error showed. That means your scan your slash group is too high. Also include the the anterior, the posterior, the posterior, the right, left, also the rot rotated. So the anti-clockwise and clockwise white arrow showed according to the range. As we know, the actual plane should the baseline the scan baseline of actual plane is parallel to the closer. If all the parameters is, is correct, then you you click the tick button. And you can finish all the sequence one by one, one by one. Maybe some problem with the brain, such as glioma or some some mass have mass found in the brain. You need the patient need a contrast enhancement. You click this syringe here. Of course, you must sh choose the enhancement sequence after. After the sequence is scanned, click the tiny icon here. The scanned image is showed in the frame. Click the up or down button to check all the images. We can copy parameters to the next sequence because they are all transferred. After all the sequences are scanned, we click the tiny but button, tiny icon, to show the scanned images and check each image. Make sure all the images have no artifacts at all. Then we can click the viewing, change to viewing interface. Choose the Patient we scanned just now to show the image. In this, in, in we also provide the diagnostic report. This report is written by the radiologist according to this patient.